everybody. Today we have a Bible lesson, and we are going to learn about Noah and Noah's Ark and all of these amazing animals. Now, it's been many, many years since Adam and Eve, and there are lots of people living on the earth now. But Noah and his family are the only ones that love God. People on earth had begun to forget God and they were doing bad things and they made God so sad. So he decided that he was going to start over. So he told Noah to build an ark because he was going to flood the earth. He gave Noah 100 years to build the ark and Noah would preach to the people and say, please, you have to obey God. A flood is coming. But no one listened. So Noah and his sons started to build an ark. They worked long and hard for many, many years. And while he was building, he continued to preach and tell people, please obey God. You have to get in the ark. A flood is coming. And they just laughed at Noah and said, Oh, it's never rained before. We don't know what you're talking about. There's no flood coming. You're silly, Noah. Why are you building a boat? But he built the boat just like God said. And that boat was sitting on dry ground. Then, when the boat was all finished, God sent animals. And they began to get in the ark. He sent two of every creature. We have lions and monkeys. And there were giraffes. And God made room in the ark for all of the animals. And we have two kitty cats. What are your favorite animals? They were on the ark. Isn't that amazing? And there were birds that God took and put on the ark. And we have puppy dogs. Then one day, when all the animals were inside, and Noah, his sons, and their wives were inside, God shut the door to the ark, and it closed up tight. Then an incredible thing happened. It started to rain, and it rained and rained for 40 days and 40 nights and the earth was covered with water. There was no land anywhere to be seen, just water. But Noah and his family and all of the animals were safe inside the ark that God had Noah make. Isn't that amazing? The earth was now covered with water and it had been many, many, many days since Noah or his family had seen any land. So, one day, Noah lets a dove out. And that dove goes and flies around looking for land. She doesn't find any land, but she does find an olive branch from a tree. So she brings that branch back to Noah. And he knows that there is trees poking up out of the water. He knows it's almost time to get off the ark. They are so happy. So, a few days later, he lets another dove out. And she goes and flies around looking for land. And guess what? That dove found land and she didn't come back to the ark. Noah was so happy the dove found a place to land and make a nest. So, they waited and waited. And eventually, Noah's boat stopped moving. It landed on a mountain. And they were so excited. It was time to get out of the ark. After the ark landed, Noah and his family came out. They were so happy to see dry land again. And all of the animals came out. And they were so happy. It was time to begin again. And God promised that he would never flood the earth ever again. God put a rainbow in the sky. 
And he said, every time you see a rainbow, you'll remember my promise that I will never flood the whole earth again. And Noah's Ark is a picture of Jesus. Just like the people had to get on the ark to be saved from the flood, Jesus is the only way to get to heaven. He is the one that saves us. Just like there was only one way to be saved from the flood, there is only one way to be saved and go to heaven. And that is trusting Jesus and asking Him to come into our heart. If you've never asked Jesus into your heart, you can do that today by saying a prayer like this one. Dear Lord, please forgive me for all the wrong things that I have done. Thank you so much for sending Jesus to die on the cross so that he could save me from my sins. Thank you that he rose again and he's alive. Please come into my heart and save me so that I can go to heaven. In Jesus' name, amen. If you said that prayer, Jesus lives with you and he will be with you forever, no matter what happens. God loves you very, very much. I really enjoyed sharing the story of Noah's Ark with you. It's a wonderful story about a family who obeyed God. And God always keeps his promises. And anytime you see a rainbow in the sky, you can remember that God keeps his promises. Thank you so much for watching. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.